In this video, I will show you how to make your own setup to do the card color change trick Eric did. But first, let me quickly go over how his act worked. The act. Eric changed the back color of a card. He hammered this card into Simon's buzzer button. The fact. Part 1, the color change was the result of a card movement on top of the Joker. Part 2, a card was put inside Simon's button before the act began. Part 1, color change. Color change of the Joker was an easy trick. Rumor says it takes a lot of skills to do this trick or it takes some expensive gimmick cards or high-tech devices. The truth is, it only takes a few minutes of handcrafting to prepare these cards. That's all. It is important to notice that all three cards involved in this color-changing trick were chosen by Eric. The bottom queen is a regular card, the top queen had some tricks in it. I will show you at the end of the video what trick it has behind this card. The working principle is that there are actually four cards in this trick. The fourth card being the the one on top of the joker with blue back. This blue card was slide under the top queen quickly to expose the real red color of the joker. The question is. How to slide the blue card so quickly without using both hands. Part 2, Vanishing the Joker Before Eric vanished his card from his right hand, he transferred the folded Joker to his left hand. When he hammered his right hand, there was no card to begin with. The card was inside the other hand. Simon's buzzer contained a folded card before the trick began. We suppose it was not a real buzzer but a buzzer Eric brought to the table. We do not believe Eric was allowed to break an AGT's buzzer without some sort of pre-arranged agreement. Eric picked up this card from the broken buzzer transferred it to the other hand, before giving it to the judge. Why? Because he needed to switch the card from the buzzer with the joker he hid earlier. He handed the joker to the judge and kept the useless card from the buzzer. This completed the trick. Part 3, DIY, Gimmick Cards for Color Change Trick let me start with showing you more details of the top queen. Here I use a white, instead of blue, to cover the back of the joker. Because I do not want to destroy my blue card for this demo. If you are going to fool someone with this, I suggest you sacrifice a blue card instead of using a white piece of paper as in my prototype. At the back of this card, it actually look like a desktop photo stand. This support leg is for reducing frictions between the top queen and the joker while the rubber band mechanism is in motion. The movement would not be smooth without this piece of paper. Under this piece of paper, you can see the white card is actually missing a corner that audience would never know. This missing corner is where the movement components are installed. This rubber band is the heart of the mechanism. It pulls the white card under the queen exposing the red joker. The two ends of this rubber band are attached onto the queen and on the white card. As you can see, the white card keeps returning to the original position. During the performance, the white card and the joker are both pulled outward adding tension to the rubber band. Use your fingers to squeeze the cards to keep the tension. 
Release the fingers so the white card is pulled under the queen and become invisible. This trick does not require any sleight of hands or expensive gimmicks, but a little thought to design. Let me take the rubber band off. This part that looks like a scabbard is glued to the queen. This part that looks like a dagger is attached to the white card. This dagger scabbard arrangement allows the white card to slide up and down behind the queen with perfect alignment every time. Would magnets work? One disadvantage using magnet in this trick is that magnetic attraction gets weaker as magnets are separated further apart. This characteristic is not ideal for this particular trick. We need a strong pull so the white card can disappear as fast as it can. A pair of magnet gives the weakest pull when the white card is furthest away from the queen. So it is not good. This characteristic is the opposite of a rubber band where its pulling force gets stronger when it is stretched longer. The other problem we find with using magnets in this trick is that while we need them to stick to each other vertically, they actually repel horizontally. Let me demonstrate with this two cards with two strong magnets attached. You can see they attach very well together back to back. But if they are put side by side, they actually repel each other. So this magnetic setup does not seem to work at all. How about a magnet and a metal plate? Well, then you get another problem they do not always reattach with each other with the same alignment every time. This is because the magnet attract to the metal the strongest as they touch, this results in a lot of frictions between them. The frictional forces often keep them off alignment. So the cards would be not be lined up after retraction. <laughs>